Eddie and Ray are friends. That's why Ray's walking his bike instead of riding home, so he can be with his friend Eddie. Now, Carl. Carl is not a friend. He lives in the same neighborhood, but he hasn't made friends with the others. Here's Jane. She's a friend. And guess what? She's going home to make some fudge. And she's inviting the fellows to come over later and sample it. Yes, sir, friendships are worth having, aren't they? Carl isn't in on the fun. He isn't in the gang. Maybe he's just not the friendly sort. What do you think? When it's so much fun to have a friend and be a friend, why is it some people are not friends? Wouldn't it be more fun to have more friends? We all have fun with our own friends. But what about other people? Mightn't they be fun? After all, we're all strangers till we make friends. Ray's brother, Phil, has lots of friends. Friends he can count on, help him have a good time. No, I won't hurt your old bike. I said you can't ride it. Let's go. There's something going on over there. Don't be so stingy. I'm not stingy. You are so stingy. That's because I won't let you ride my oh, bike. Come on, let's go. I won't hurt it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it, Pepper. Hold it. It's a big trouble, Ray. He's trying to take my bike. Yeah, you keep your old bike. Phil has always tried to help Ray be friendly. And Ray has learned, but, well, sometimes he sort of forgets. I, uh, thought you and Eddie were friends. He's no friend of mine. Why not? Oh, he called me stingy. Were you? Just because I wouldn't let him ride my bike. Mm-hmm. I should say not. Wrecked his own bike. Broke the chain. Might wreck mine, too. So you're not friends anymore, huh? Well, it's too bad. Maybe so. You two always seem to have good times together. Ray, give a guy a hand, huh? Has uh, Eddie ever loaned you his bike? Sure. Did you wreck it? Of course not. Oh, you mean... You mean I'm more careful of his bike than I am of my own. That's just what I mean. Guess maybe I am. You know, to keep your friends, you gotta be... gotta be pretty considerate. Look for the good in people. Give them credit for being as, as straight as you are. Yeah. It might work. I don't think Eddie would have wrecked your bike, but even if he did, his friendship's worth more. After all the fun you guys have had together, why, you... Well, where are you going? Uh, you know. a boy, Ray. You know, it isn't easy to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. But it makes friends, Ray. It makes friends. Hey, you surprised me. Thought maybe you could use a little help. I sure can. Just being friendly. Cut it out, will you? Say, does Dad know you're fixing this? No, I'm planning to surprise him. Well, well, hello there. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Martin. How are you? About time I brought this letter back I borrowed from your father. Are uh, you sure that's our letter? It sure is. Oh, well, there were a couple of steps broken, and I just happened to have a little spare time, and... Well, it's as good as new. Thanks, Mr. Martin. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I, uh, noticed that you're fixing that screen. Thought you might, uh, want to touch up the frame. Here, use what you need. That's mighty nice of you, Mr. Martin. You know, it's good to see you boys helping your father this way. And if uh, you need our ladder, you're sure welcome to it. Why, oh, thanks a million. Mr. Martin, 
I'll bring back the paint. I mean, when we're through with it. Uh, there's no hurry. Well, so long, boys. So long, Mr. Martin. Bye. And thanks again. Now, there's what I call a friendly guy. Yeah, everybody likes Mr. Martin. He's okay. Hey, you're really thinking about this business of being friendly, aren't you? Well, it sure would be a lot friendlier world if everybody were like that. Well, most people are like that. But being friendly is a two-way proposition. Find out how friendly other people are, you have to practice being friendly yourself. Yep. So in order to be friendly, I should look for the good in other people. And be courteous. And be generous. Even when it hurts. <laughs> There's one more thing, though. What's that? Well, you have to like people. Take Mother and Dad, for instance. They enjoy meeting new people, don't they? Sure. And it shows in their attitude. They're really interested in other people. Other people know it. Is that why you have so many friends? Because you like people? I guess so. At least I'm not timid or standoffish. So, people aren't standoffish with me. When you like somebody, you let them know about it. Oh, the first thing you know, you've made a new friend. But do they always turn out to be good friends? Usually. Go, Ray! Where you want your bike? Hi, Eddie. How's Over it going, Eddie? Wall. What you doing? Help me feel surprised, Dad. Uh, say, you know that, that rear reflector of yours? You didn't wreck it. I smashed it up about a month ago. I had an old one lying around. I put it on. What? it sure is shiny for an old one. Well, anyway, there it is. Boy, thanks a lot, Eddie. How about that? There's a real pal for you. By the way, when I passed Danny's house, she said the fudge was ready. Come on. Why don't you say so? You need me anymore, Phil? Go ahead. Take off. Right. Wait a second. Hurry up, will you? I've been promising Jane I'd let her use my new skates. That's all. Come on. Yes, friendships are worth having. At home, at school, wherever we are, it's fun to be with our friends. And Ray has learned lots of ways to be friendly. But what about people who aren't in the gang? What about making new friends? What did Phil say about liking people and showing them that you like them? Would Carl make a good friend? It isn't hard to find out. Try saying something, anything, something to break the ice. No, it isn't hard to start a new friendship. And it isn't hard to be generous. That's one way to be friendly. See how it works? And it isn't hard to be courteous. That's another way to be friendly. And it isn't hard to be the one who introduces a new friend to old friends. And you never can tell just how much a new friendship is going to mean to you. Hi, Phil. Well, where you been, Wedding? We've been down to the radio station. The whole gang. Radio station? How come? Well, you know, a couple weeks ago I met a new friend, Carl? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Well, it turns out he can play the piano. Really play it. I didn't know a kid could play like that. But somebody knew. And they had him do a whole radio program. He asked some of us to go with him. We went through the whole radio station. Then we sat right in the studio with him. Boy, did I get a kick up. You'd have thought he was my own brother or something. Of course, he is kind of my special friend. And you know, I think it meant a lot to him, having us there, having his friends sort of share it with him. Anyway, I guess it proves that you've been trying to tell me about Billy. It makes sense.
everything, buddy, doesn't it? 